All right, let's see what's next. Um, yeah, because I, I don't know. I, I thought there was yeah, there was more than that. We beat down Broly to a certain amount of health. So they said, oh, these just straight up fights. It's way easier than all this specialty stuff than like, oh, protect Bardock from being killed by d limitless minions. So. Okay, now we're just defeating Broly? Okay. I'm kind of surprised that, like, Trunks isn't more of a high strong person. Because, because of Vegeta? Or... And, uh... oh, that's just, a good just point. Just think about their personalities. I mean, their kids should be just like... Incredibly high I guess. I mean, if you're, if we're, if we're looking at I me, mean, Kid Trunks is still a kid, so we don't really get to see what he grows up to be like. Except for in GT, they just kind of make him like Future Trunks. But, I mean, Future Trunks never really knew Vegeta all that well because he died, and so he grew up with Bulma, who at that time was just really, really focused on saving the future and was always optimistic about Goku saving everybody. And um, besides that, he was kind of raised by Go. Maybe. Who are you? I don't know. I mean, the way he looks. Going on. From either of those two. Oh God. You really are. This is amazing. Uh, Broly and Prince Vegeta are talking. He's really like, wait, aren't you Bardock? Who are you? What are you talking about? I need a favor from you. Uh, energy capsule. Oh, oh, okay. Apparently, we're moving on to something here. Ouch. Nice. What? Nice. No, it's Bardock. Because Bardock. Oh, never lost his tail. He can still go oh, giant yeah. ape for it. Powerful energy. Is that the legend? Bardock, I could use some help. Ow. To turn into a great Who knows? Maybe I'm fighting two enemies here. Just one enemy is not an enemy. Just a big monkey. He's just a big monkey. Oh, oh. It may be great to have a big Saiyan. Oh, that sounds fun. That would be so cool. So, what we do know about the monkeys is that it multiplies the Saiyan's power by 10. Uh, yeah. yeah, right now it's just kind of, ooh, 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 I'm, I'm a monkey. This is still awesome. We're teamed up with a giant ape. da 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 I think I'm I'm doing way better against Broly. Oh, it's because he's just walking around being like, um, ooh, 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 ooh. oh, fighting him. Why is it? Why am I so afraid? I don't know, Vegeta. I'm Vegeta! Vegeta, you can't die here. That would be really bad for history. Okay, now we have to make sure Vegeta doesn't die because that would alter history a lot. All right, I need a tornado. Hyper tornado. Oh yeah, see all that lag? That means it's working. He is pretty he much is a Sundaray. Like the definition of a Sundaray. Probably Sundaray before Sundaray. Climber. Think so? Well, when did the like time come up? Like, yeah, I, I have no like, clue. I feel like that's more of like, a recent thing. Recently. Relatively, probably. Are we compared to? Ow! Ow! God damn it, Broly! Yeah! Did I hurt? Did I hurt you? We've almost got him. Almost got him. I'm almost dead, too. Yay! That was really risky unnecessarily, but we won! There's so many, like, silly things from this Let's Play that I want to draw. Come on! Don't you have any flashier moves? Yeah, it'd be fun. Oh my god. I just, there's so many ideas for, like, 
silly comics I have. I just need to around <laughs> too. I wonder if other artists have that. Or Probably. Like, yeah. Um, I don't think the monkey would just stand there. Probably start picking up and like Hulk versus like Lokiing him. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Or eat him. Or Paul. Jones. You didn't even fight that much, Bardock. Why are you tired? He's hungry. Oh, good point. <laughs> I mean, he is. It serves Goku's you right. Dad. It's Goku's dad beating down the school bully. Did it? Did the monster die? Now the Holy Red knows. No, he's only unconscious. Yeah, sure. I thought he just so killed his dad. <laughs> Don't worry, no. I'll take care of everything else. I think he just made him go quiet. So is that it for story mode then? Sleep, Go to sleep. Oh, man. The wormhole was destroyed in the explosion, which also took out Namek. Alrighty. That's good. Well, that ends well, I guess. Yeah. Legendary Super Saiyan. He had an amazing amount of power. He did. I saw that. He seemed to be a pretty tough opponent. I've had worse. Bardock. Looked identical to Goku. Well, so does Goten and Turles. No, but no, Bardock had that bad Queen boy Bardock kind of attitude, like didn't he? Bardock. He's so dreamy. I wonder if oh, he has God, a that girlfriend. Face. Apparently, she's into Bardock. Oh, he has oh, a wife. Oh, he has a wife. That's the first time we've ever heard that. We didn't know that Bardock had a wife until this game just now. Well, that Saiyan's got married, really. Yeah. Stop it. <laughs> hey, stop it. Stop being a little hoe. I was just kidding, you know? Gosh. Ha <laughs> Close calls are more exciting. Does that finish the legendary Super Saiyan saga? Okay. Alrighty. Well, now what? Got anything else for me, Trunks? Hey! Hello there, it's quite beastful here as usual. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure we are all done with story mode, guys. All that's left are six more parallel quests. That's going to be it for... Well, I say that's going to be it for this LP for now, but honestly, the next thing you guys will probably see after those six parallel quests are the first DLC, at least, because I'm sure that'll be released by the time this is out. As it is, what's happened is, um, recently, just earlier today, um... Someone got an early version of the DLC and like played it all the way through and uploaded it onto YouTube Even though it hasn't been released and the release date hasn't been announced yet. Oh, shit. Yeah Ooh, that's, that's... Someone got early access and uh, uploaded like it all the, Yeah, that thing. sounds like a big leak that's gonna get that person in big trouble. Not that I know But that's just what it sounds like. Oh, let's go with more health well, they do there. They won't be for much longer. I'm pretty sure that's what happened to the person who ever leaked that Super Smash Brothers thing, too. Man, I remember when games like this, man, they were a total mystery until they got released. Now, days, weeks before games come out, if the game has enough interest built around it, we know. We know everything about it before it's even close to coming out. First thing I want to do is I want to check the stores! Do you think the internet's just the biggest player in that? Oh, yeah, you I bet. I mean, I feel like, you know, before the internet, it was really hard to get. It didn't have nice new items. Back. The internet is such a, you know, place for information, yeah. Oh, I bought one too many, but it doesn't matter. Alrighty, let me see here. What was I going to check out again? Oh, yeah, I wanted to check how much my gear is currently giving me. So, this gives me... It's plus... 4% to those things. So if there's anything that's better than that, or better looking. So how do you feel about that, Isaac? I mean, like, your personal opinion. Um, nowadays, where we can get pretty much any information on the game. Really I like it. Because it, it gives us that kind of ability to know if it's something that we're going to be interested in, what kind of features. It gives us all that knowledge beforehand. But if you don't want to be spoiled on it, just avoid it. Yeah, it just it, all it does yeah. is gives you the option to if you want to. So I'm all for it. See, because it's 
something I've wondered with between video games and movies, because you know, like my family, so, like I grew up with a family where television and movies were the big thing. You know, we were like addicted to our TVs. And so, like, our philosophy on like films and stuff, we didn't really have to do much of any of that stuff or anything. Is that, you know, it's better to go see a movie if you don't know anything about it than to know like the basic plot or anything to see if it's any good. Now that's changed a lot as I've gotten older and you know I've been more independent from my own family where you know there's this stuff about video games and we have full access to the internet. Like I'd rather know a little bit about a movie before I go see it because I'm really picky with movies now. Dang, I've not seen any new better clothes for me. Better clothes for like everything besides what I am. Yeah, you know, you get that fear that like the movie's gonna be spoiled or you're not gonna be as into it because you really don't know what's gonna happen in the movie, you know? Yeah. But like with a video game it's so different. I mean like having information about it actually can make the experience better. I think so. In some cases. I mean, because there's so many video games, and they're always I mean, they just have secrets oh. that would be impossible to find out without either pure luck and word of mouth, or, uh, you know. And, like, the difference between, like, a movie and a video game is that you have to think and problem solve in the video game, as opposed to a movie where you just kind of sit there and take it. You, I mean, you kind of have to have an idea of what you're going to do when you go into it, because, like, Fumbling around, figuring it out by yourself is a pain in the ass. It's not as enjoyable as kind of having a good idea of what you're doing. It's kind of like approaching a math problem versus, you know, reading a book for a class. You know, like sometimes if you're reading a book for a class, it's kind of nice to start off fresh. But if you're going to do, go into like a math quiz or something, you kind of need to go into it knowing a little bit of what you're going to do or else you can totally fumble it. Not to say the discovery part of finally going through something isn't entertaining. It has its purpose. Oh yeah, definitely. Like, I mean, I've had a lot of fun just playing Skyrim my first time around, totally blind and not knowing what the fuck I'm doing. You know, There's no student plays or gloves. Started with like some really fun experiences, like killing a chicken and realizing there's actually consequences for killing chickens. <laughs> but yeah. Mm -hmm. So I, I was just curious about your opinion on that. Well, there it is. Welcome. So there really aren't any new clothes after that thing. Yeah. Really? Well, is there a movie you want to seek? No. Me either. That's why I never even think about it. Yeah, I just I like the experience. Welcome. There's lots of accessories I like. A Rayleigh's poop stick. There's a poop. Okay. I can buy a Rayleigh's poop stick! I don't even know what that is, but I, I want it just so I know. I feel like it's like a part of that, like, spin off. Not spin -off. No, it will, it says, it's from the doctor, it's from Dr. Slug. Yeah. That cost me an entire fifth of my mass amount of money. For some reason, that makes my butt feel uncomfortable. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> Alright, poop stick. Where does this thing Oh, there it is. See, there it is. Oh my god. It's a pink poop. Yeah. What were, what were oh! you thinking? Okay. What, how does poop become pink? Any case. I think you ate a margin. And that's how poop becomes pink. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to my, uh... I'm gonna go back to this stuff. Just for fun. Whoa, look at those pants. It almost looks like pants I would wear. So almost, okay. Um, I'm just gonna go with a look that I like. You know, you have a very interesting sense of style, Isaac, but it's actually, it works. Hey look, it's Krillin's hat. I wish I could change the color of the hat. I have an interesting sense of style that it works. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. I'll just make the jacket match the hat. I don't know how to explain the sense of style. I like it's like a half-assed 
kind of is. <laughs> it is like half ass punk. Not in a bad way. No, it's just, you know, like I don't really put much. Like it's almost punk, but you still look approachable. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> punk but approachable. Okay. I think a I don't mind that. Appro approachable punk. <laughs> it's just because I don't like have a ton of things for piercing to a I feel like a mohawk's just so much effort that's not even worth it. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you have to stick that thing up, like, every day, and if you don't, it just looks like a floppy little limp penis of a mohawk. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, have you seen, like, a mohawk that hasn't been done up before? It looks really limp and kind of silly. Hmm. Alrighty, well, there. It, it looks like me, right? Only with blue instead of black jacket and hat. And also, I've noticed most businesses here in Roseburg, like, don't like crazy hair color except for red. It's true. They, I've noticed totally that. They're totally okay with red no matter what shade it is. It's really funny. I think it's just because it's the more popular of, like, people colors, to be honest. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Alrighty, so, even though this equipment is not um, optimized for stats, this is what I'm going to roll with. Oh, I can just save this as a preset, can't I? So I'll go with okay, presets and save. And this will be... Make it. Uh, this will be presets two. Mm -hmm. I like so I can set these presets and those will be like my different costumes I can wear. Maybe I'll just make a bunch of costumes. Maybe that's what I'll do next episode. <laughs> so I've discovered... With I'll see you guys next time.